Proverbs also says this in 18, Proverbs 18.21, the tongue can bring death or life, right? So the power of the tongue, death or life. James 3, and again, you can go back and read that. James talks about how positive the tongue is, but also how the tongue could be an unruly evil. And so we want to use the tongue in a right way for positive words. Words have the power to build us up or tear us down. Whatever words we come into agreement with, this is important, carry a substance of an assignment that can be fulfilled. Whatever words you agree with, they carry a substance of an assignment that can be fulfilled. And so you come into agreement with something, you're going to empower it. And so, it, again, it sounds almost like just psychological stuff, but it's the Word of God, right? If you agree with that which is true, which is right, which is what God says and what God's revealing, then you empower the truth of that to come to pass. Father, I thank you that I have healthy relationships. Instead of saying, God, all my relationships just seem to fall apart and are broken. See, that's that ungodly thinking and belief, right? Lord, I thank you that I have healthy relationships. Father, I thank you that I have a healthy marriage. Or I thank you for, you know, and you just go on. Lord, I thank you have a healthy church family. I thank you, Father, as Paul wrote in Ephesians, I thank you that I'm accepted in the beloved. You proclaim those words. And, and you speak words of life and affirmation, you know. Hey, you're amazing. Man, I, you, have you ever had someone tell you that? You're amazing. I'll tell you that today. You're amazing. Some of you aren't so sure, so I, thank you. You're amazing. You're valuable. You may not feel very valuable today, but God says you're valuable. God says you're amazing. God says you're loved. God says you're the apple of his eye. God says you're created in his image. That's how the Father sees you. You have something that only you can bring to planet Earth in our generation. You are out of this world. You feel good now? This isn't to puff us up into ego or pride. No, no. It's to help us walk in true godly identity.